Hey Dusty2112 here, how are we all today? Good I hope. Well I did promise the other day that I'd give a full review on my generator that I just got. Um, getting ready for cyclone season as it starts soon. So um, it is a 9 kilowatt Viking generator. It has got max power of 8 kilowatt. Um, rated power 7, 000, uh, 72 watt and it's got a 574 cc motor 16 horsepower now this is the problem I had I cannot find anything on YouTube about the Viking generator I could find things that were similar but not the same I did buy it and I got my uh, generator changeover switch put in the other day for the house so I can use it legally and compliant to Australian standards but the problem I'm facing is every time I plug it in I get this little trip switch here this safety switch trips every time so I've been looking around and I can't find anything on it but I do have a couple of people that I know who do work in the um, electricity industry and I've got some uh, good mate that knows a bit about it and what I figured out is if you if you if you buy this generator or something similar to that uh, 9 kilowatt um, you, it's got a bonded neutral now just a word of warning I'm not a qualified electrician and I'm not qualified to be giving advice this is what I did to get my generator working it's not how you do it it's how I did it I'll show you how I did it and it worked it stopped tripping the switch and then after I show you that I'll take it around hook it up to the house and show you the changeover switch and everything I've got put in so I can use it compliant so what I had to do was I've already got it unhooked a little bit is I went into the power head out the back If you're not comfortable doing this and you don't know what you're doing, get a professional to do it. Like I said, it's not how to do it, it's how I did it. And I don't take any responsibility if you injure yourself doing this, because it is a risk doing it. Because what you want to do, you want to turn the neutral from a bonded neutral into a floating neutral. And what I did down here, you've got your earth, which is there, which goes down onto this... Oh, sorry, which goes up into the control panel. So what I did down here on your white on your white terminal, it's got this little jumper. Yeah. It jumps from that one to that one, which they call a bonded neutral. So I took yeah. that off, and now it's working perfectly um, on my house. Give me a second. I'll put this all back together, and I'll be back. All right, so once you do that, make sure you get your neutral jumper and put it somewhere safe. I put it up under here by the um, control panel because you cannot use the generator, and I will stress this, you cannot use the generator by itself with a floating neutral. If you take it to a work site or you do your, your um, hook it up to your caravan or something, you must have that little jumper in order to run the generator. Otherwise, it won't be safe. Um, the reason why I had to do this this way is because um, the two neutrals will conflict with each other. Like I've got the neutral on the house and the neutral on this. So this is a floating neutral, which means once I put it on the house, You've still got a new you've still got a safe neutral to use. It'll use the neutral for the house. So the features that I like, hang on a sec. And what I think's really cool about this generator is it's not only electric start. It's not only electric start. You've got your pull start. It's got a 25 litre tank. And the really cool feature I like about this is it's got a remote that you can start it with. So to start it, you switch on your fuel switch, switch on your power switch, and then you just hold, you press this twice, 
holding in. And then what's really cool is you can use the remote I've never seen a generator in my life that's got a remote control. I think it's just awesome. So, let me take you around and I'll show you the other stuff that I've got put on the house. So, I got an electrician around and this is the Australian standard that you have to have to have changeover switch now. So, you plug your generator into here. And then I've got a changeover switch, which what you do is, once you hook up your generator, you don't even have to turn off your main switch. You hook up your generator, you switch on your safety switch, on, and then you pull this down once, and then twice, and it goes over the generator power, which I reckon is really cool. Instead of doing it the way that we were doing it, we can do it that way. So, I just wanted to give a quick review on it because I couldn't find anything on YouTube about the Viking generator. 